What's going on everybody? Product Probes back at you with another knife review and today we're going to when I was 16, 17 years old I found this buck knife cleaning out an old hunting bag that I had and I cleaned a lot of deer with this knife. This was the 327 buck knife. I don't even know if they make this thing anymore but it's actually a really cool knife. I carried this thing for years. So let's dive into it. Let's see what the All right, guys, let me give you a close up on this thing. As you can see it's still beat up pretty good. I don't know what all it is. It's like sticky. I don't even know. Who knows? But you can see this coating is coming off the handle right there on it. It had a nice little pocket clip on it. Didn't sit super high with a concealment. Dual thumb studs on it. I guess it was like a carbon fiber, almost like what this is, type look on the handle. But this thing was super sharp. Standard drop point blade right there. Had a nice little large choil right there on it. Wasn't as large of a belly as you would think. No jimpings really right up here. Just a simple EDC knife that was carried, but it, man, it's got a good feel to it. I like it. And you know, when you think about cleaning deer on the go, I should have probably went with a lot larger knife. I mean, I had like deer skinning knives, but you're out there in the field, I always went with this buck knife because it was super sharp and it still feels super sharp. So let's go see how sharp this thing is. And Man, I wish it was like fresh out of the box and then I could really show you how sharp it is, but maybe it's still got an edge. So let's go check it out. All right, now I have cleaned a good many deer with this and you've yeah, used this knife a good bit. However, I still think we're gonna have a good blade on it. So let's check it out. So with the straight down cut, yeah, it catches fine. Now nah, a few rips right in there, but let's try it again at an angle. Ah. A little bit harder to catch and I'm having to work my way down the blade so I would have liked it more if it just came on down but then again I've really put this knife through the ringer so I'm not gonna fail the blade by all means because I already know it's super sharp but let's test out the point on it right here yeah definitely a good bit of push wow a lot of push that's gonna be taken to get your knife really in there minor rips on that second cut but overall it's definitely going to need to be sharpened up you know it's still you know pretty good man this is a cool knife blast in the past but anyway still feels super lightweight so let's go ahead let's go get the weight and measurements of this knife all right let's just see how much this thing weighs real quick Three ounces, a little bit over if you want to count that. Let's see if it balances out. Yeah, let's see what the measurements are. Keep it open real quick. It's gonna be looking at six and a half inches with a two and a quarter inch blade and this right here. So three and well yeah about three and three quarters inch closed right there not too bad at all oh see how smooth that is right there no liner lock to it no real inner mechanisms with the guts let me show you all right here so really what you see is just your handle is going to be your entire knife it's a frame lock knife not sure if you can see it in this close-up camera but boom right there that eh, might be a little bit better of a close-up on it but just a simple frame lock i don't know if i said liner lock earlier but i was just looking and saw that but you know the pocket clip it's not super beefy but let's go see what this thing looks like in the pocket all right let's see how this thing looks in the pocket i wish the pocket clip was a little bit higher but let's check it out so right over here Slides in actually pretty good. Did bunch up a little bit right there. 
Ah, it slides out almost a little bit too easy. Not a whole lot of catch right there. You see that? Now, positive thing about that, it's not going to fray your pocket. Bad thing about it is that it is a lot looser in your pocket, which is not very good. But the concealed side of it right here, the print on it is not bad at all with this knife. So you pull it out, your single hand deployment, do what you got to do. Your single hand close right here is actually really smooth. Slide it back in your pocket. Bam. Yeah. So this actually is not too bad. Fit my hand in my pocket, still do what I got to do. But you see how that's sliding out? Boop. I can make this thing slide out, guys. So just be careful when you're getting this thing. But other than that, you're good to go. Yeah, not too bad at all. I like this knife, guys. I won't switch back to my everyday carry. It feels like there's stuff on this handle, but definitely at least wanted to show you what I used to carry back in the day. Did a lot of deer hunting with this knife. Anyway, sorry if the review was kind of just like me rambling, but definitely wanted to show you all this knife. And if this knife is still out there and you were looking at this review, I hope the review helped. And it's just a super simple EDC, but this is a great knife, super sharp. Just about as simple as you could get with it. And I don't think it was too expensive. I think it was like 30 bucks maybe when I got it. So now they've got to be cheap, cheap. So if you want to go check it out, I'm going to try to find this thing. And if I can, I'll leave a link in the description. Appreciate you watching, guys. And I'll see y'all in the next one.